iJoy Limitless RDTA, it's time, stay tuned. Welcome to the Vapor Chronicles. Hello and welcome to the Vapor Chronicles. We are back and it's time for the Limitless RDTA. Let me have a sip of coffee. It's Vapor Clock, got done work. I built this actually last night. I did the up close and I took it to work with me today and I was vaping it. I filled about five tankfuls. So this is going to be a first impressions, first look. Detailed, definite, solid impressions, but obviously there could be little things that come up that I didn't foresee or things that I miss. Uh, this is not going to be the end all be all. That's why there's a lot of reviewers. That's why there's a lot of opinions. Uh, the market's been flooded with uh, Genesis style you know, atomizers lately. Uh, the Theorem and the uh, Avocado 24, and each one's a little bit different, offers a little bit of flexibility. We even had, like before, the Fody. I just got the Fody V2 in. There's no sleep for a vapor viewer because the products are just flooding in, and our job is to try to give you our impressions, our opinions, let you know what we think, but it's ever-changing, ever-evolving. You might have put a pre-order in yesterday for something, and today something comes out that looks better. Um, enjoy what you have. All of this stuff is really good. Uh, so, you know, don't beat yourself up. Nobody can keep up unless you're super rich with all the stuff that comes out. So just take it as it comes and make educated decisions based upon watching videos. All right, so here we go. The Limitless RDTA. It has a ton of really awesome features, and it's a beast. It is a beast, okay? Some of the best in class in a lot of things. I guess Limitless Mod Company and iJoy collaborated, and they came up with this. So... I'm excited. I'd like to thank iJoy and Everson.com for sending me this product for the purpose of this video. Let's take a closer look. Let's dive in and break it down. All right, here's the outside of the package. Kind of looks like a bandana design or something. I like it a lot. Little specs, little scratchy check, links and stuff for social media. And they give a little warning on the side, which is really cool. It talks about making sure that, you know, this is for experienced users with knowledge of rebuilding coils and um, <clears throat> lots of warnings on there. So this is a really cool thing to put on there. Okay, so in your kit here you have little grub screw tools, extra grub screws, And they give you red tank O-rings and a couple more black O-rings for the different parts inside the tank. Looks like they also give you some twisted, maybe canthol or something like that. It's definitely twisted. I think it's three millimeters in diameter for those coils. They also give you this... Uh, little adapter and this is for if you like a tighter draw let me zoom in a little bit and get a little bit more clarity for you so if you like your draw really really wide open then you're going to want to leave this one on there this uh, delrin chuff style cap but if you want to close off the airflow there's a little o-ring here and this just sort of slides in and gives you a little bit more of a tighter draw and also a little bit longer um, of a chimney here You can see the cone shape of this. It sort of cuts off the airflow a little bit more. So that would be for more flavor. Uh, this is removable, so you can just pull this off. And I'm going to pull all these parts apart. There's your airflow adjustment. This is specifically designed for dual coils, not single coil. So hopefully in the future that would be an improvement that they would make. Uh, but it's for, for at this moment, this is sort of like a, a killer airflow dual coil setup. Huge build deck, monstrous build deck. The device itself, 24 millimeters in diameter. So your airflow comes in from the sides and it is adjustable. As long as you uh, use this, you can sort of just spin this. And uh, the nice thing is, is that this extends so you're not gonna get heat on your mouth. 
Uh, it is pretty wide though, but it also has a little bit of grip on here so you can sort of spin this and adjust your airflow to your uh, favorite position. And you can also move this so that you can, st even if you close it off to like right here, you can still move this and line it up so that it hits your coil directly right in the middle even with small airflow, which is really cool. You can see on the front here it says RDTA with a little uh, logo on there, which is cool. You can see this little drip icon here, and that's because that's where you fill from. Uh, to fill your tank, all you would do is just pull this off, and this is held on with O-rings. And you can see there's a fill hole right there. And I'll show you a little trick on filling a little bit later. But it's really, really big, nice and wide. You can fit all different types of bottles in there and uh, drippers in there to fill your juice up four milliliters of juice capacity um, and everything comes apart which is really cool so this comes off this little sleeve is separate and you can see it has these velocity style posts pretty big post holes let's open these up so you can see nice big post holes velocity style. So here's your positive post, here's your negative post. The negative post is milled into the deck it looks like. And there's your wicking channels here, 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 and here. But such a huge massive work area or workspace. The build deck's a whopping 18.6 uh, millimeters. So it's huge in terms of uh, workable space. So you can do some pretty neat builds in there. And just tons of area to work. All the machining seems good. It's actually gorgeous to look at, which I'll show you more once I put it all back together and do the build. Here's your bottom, it says limitless. This is an adjustable brass 510. So when we take this out, and you'll be able to screw this counterclockwise. This comes off. And you can see there's a little O-ring here, and this is the one that you would replace with the red if you were going to. You can also change out your glass section, but there was not one included, so hopefully if you break it, they'll sell uh, available ones. I like when they include a spare glass section, but that is removable. Okay, so I already have one coil started. Uh, you want to put your glass section on, make sure those O-rings are nice and snug, and open up your... Uh, grub screws to make sure that you can make room for your coils. I'm going to be using some 3 millimeter 7 rep Claptons and uh, just regular Canthal for this. And there's plenty of room to build on here. Any type of build you could desire. Now we want to make sure that we put our cotton in, but we don't want to make it too tight, okay? We don't want to choke it. So we're going to have it nice, not too loose, not too tight, just right. Keeping it nice and fluffy. Then we're going to cut about right here and right here, just like so. Then you can comb your wicks a little bit. Just to thin them out a little bit, get them a little bit more fluffy. I've got a lot of recommendations from you guys watching my videos that I've done recently on all these different um, Genesis style. And a lot of people say, oh, you know, comb the wicks and make it fluffy. So that's good. All right. <clears throat> Let's do the other side real quick and I'll be right back. Now your juice channels or your wicking channels are not up against the glass like in the theorem there's a ring that goes around them and that's going to hold them down in the right position and we're going to play with that as we go along <clears throat> so now that you have these in place what you want to do is sort of just tuck these down not tight but just you know into the into these juice channels 
but still maintaining nice and fluffy. Okay. So almost like dual ponytails right in these channels, but notice how light and fluffy and spread out this wick is. So at this point, if you want to sort of go around and make sure that these aren't too long, you can go around the glass section right here if that would be what you'd like. All right, so that's all I want to mess with these. I don't want to compress them too much. The coil position's good, wick's good. And then we're going to take our top ring here. And you don't want to lose this. Make sure that this is in here, like so. And you want to center this right here. And then screw this on. There are moments when you do vape reviews that you just want to throw something across the room, and this is one of them. I recorded a whole section that I forgot to hit the record button because the film was getting too long for the memory that I have. Um, so I'm going to attempt to back this up a little bit, but it might mess things up. What I was showing was is that when you screw this ring on and you put it over your coils and you push it down, you know what? I'm going to take it off. Okay, so rewind. Let's imagine for a minute that I didn't just make that mistake and the wicks are still dry, and they're not, but let's imagine they are. And we're separating these so that there's two ponytails or two pieces of hair coming down, and there's space in between, just like so. I find that if they're a little wet, it helps this process a little bit, and this will help later when you put your cover back on. And I like to get the wicks right at the glass level, right a tad below the glass, right? When they get wet, they're going to drop a little bit lower. Nothing's pushed in, nothing's forced. Okay? So everything's sort of set up like this. Now, notice this O-ring here. Make sure that it's either there or on the bottom of this. Because this is threaded right here. And that slides over this and it screws on. But you need to make sure you have that O-ring there so it seals the tank. You also want to make sure you have space here because when I put this on, you have to remember that you have to fill this, right? So there's your fill port. There's your little juice icon and there's your little opening. So when I screw this on, everything falls into place the way it should and then you just start to screw on, screw on, screw on. And you'll notice it's getting snug. I like it pretty snug. You don't want to break your glass, but I like it pretty snug. And I like it to stop close enough to right in between the coil. So you have the most space. And you can even take a little tool like this and just move your wick to the side, to the side, to the side, to the side, so that when you go to fill, none of it comes back out. You have all the space and it just pours right in. You can just see me quickly filling, quickly filling, quickly filling. Super easy. Fill it up. You can actually fill it up pretty high and then take your ring, right, RDTA facing up, center your airflow holes where you want them. This will block off your juice hole and you should be good to go, all right? Then you take your top, if you're going to use this, pop that back on, adjust your airflow setting as you see fit. I'm going to leave it wide open, and you should be ready to vape, okay? So if I take this off, let's take a look and see how we're doing. Yeah, see all that juice just sucking up? Look at that. Nice and wet. Nice and wet. All right? You want to make sure that they're, they're, it's not too tight. So if you need to, you can poke a little hole right in the opening along the side here just to give it a little bit of room to breathe. and it shouldn't cause it to leak. All right, so there you go. Pop this back on. And you cannot tell me that that is not one of the sexiest combos in the vape game right now. It's absolutely beautiful. So let's zoom back out and we'll take this for a vape. Up and close, the way I like it. Really cool stuff. How about that side fill? Man, if you part those, those little pigtails I would say this is right up there with the Avocado 24 in terms of filling. You don't even have to take the cap off, uh, but it kind of comes off when I pull on it, but you can just actually lift it up a little bit, 
fill it on the fly, drop it back down, and you're back to vaping again. Uh, the build that I have in here right now is reading 0.54 ohms. I have it at 80 watts on powerful mode on the SX350 JV2, which is the D Dark SX Special TVC Edition uh, from Signature Tips UK. All right, I love this thing. So let's take this for a vape. Airflow, wide open. It chucks, it super chucks. Okay, it's nice and open and airy. It wicks perfectly. Uh, this is the easiest, actually this and probably the theorem are the easiest to wick. You slide your wicks down that side channel on each side, make sure you don't overstuff it and you wick it, you know, snug enough that it's in there, but less is better, okay? Less is more. Um, if you close off the airflow, which the cool thing, I, and I love this, is that this little uh, wide bore chuff style cap that you have here, if you turn it and say you want to shut off the airflow 50%, right? Well, then you can actually twist this and still have the airflow opening hitting the coil directly on both sides. Much more flavor. So if you're a cloud chaser or you're a flavor chaser, uh, the build deck is nice and raised, so it's very, very close to your mouth. I'm not getting any spit back or anything like that, but it does get warm when you vape at these temperatures. It's just a cloudy, saturated, tasty vape. I'm loving it. I'm loving it, okay? Nice juice capacity, beautiful, sexy, banging good looks. Um, this is also going to come in black. Take a look at this pick. And there's not really much to say. I mean, all these recently have had the velocity style build decks, but each one has its own little characteristics that make it different. Visually, they're different. The way you wick them are a little bit different. Do I think that these tanks replace regular RTAs? I don't think so. Um, I haven't had any leaking issues, easy to fill, flavor's good. Maybe, I don't know, I don't know. I'm still deciding, this is all so new to me. You know what I mean? Um, but I do know that so far, as of today, and <laughs> the funny thing is just yesterday I said the Avocado 24 was my favorite. I gotta say, I like this more. I just do. Um, so let's put that little little top piece on that blocks off the um, the airflow a little bit. And let me, let me give you my impressions of that. So they give you this little drop and you pop it in the top and it extends it a little bit. A little more room for the mouth, but it also closes off the airflow. And I'll leave the airflow halfway closed. Okay, even with the airflow open, let me open it all the way now. I can't even see what I'm looking at. There we go. Okay, so the airflow is wide open now with the with the, with the top with the uh, little extension on. Personally, I don't like it. I think it just distorts the airflow. But if you close off the airflow about leave a quarter open, center it over your coil. And leave the top on. That is for you, for you flavor chasers out there, okay? It gets a nice tight draw. It doesn't have that turbulence because it's, you know, you have this huge flow of air coming in and then it sort of chokes it and it's not meant to be wide open. This is meant for when you close off the air, when I close it a lot. It gets more, it's flavorful, it's warmer, it's saturated. Um, so whether you like clouds, you like flavor, you like flouds, which is a little bit of both, iJoy, Limitless, awesome work. I love it, okay? It's going to be available. I have links below if you're interested in picking this up. The only real cons I have about this thing is that I wish it had a single coil option. Um, it, since it has those two wicking channels on both sides, they, don't, they didn't give you something to sort of plug that up. As it is right now, without a block for those two juice channels underneath the one coil side, you can't do single coil. So if you're a single coil person, this is not for you. Other than that, you need to be experienced because this does take some skill to build on. It's not that difficult, but, you know, and don't be afraid. Don't let that discourage you, but you want to understand battery safety, Ohm's Law. You want to know how to build coils. You want to know how to protect yourself. You want to use batteries that don't have any tears on the wraps. You want to make sure that you use high drain, good quality, known batteries, Okay, and uh, you want to vape safe. You want to vape within the safe range for that battery.
So all things considered, I think the price on this is going to be around 35, 40 bucks in that range. Don't quote me on that, but I think it's going to be in that range. It should be available very soon. I saw iJoy's Instagram updated today saying that they were going to be in stock. So they're shipping. This is going to be huge. I think this is going to be very, very popular. And I'm really excited for you guys to get your hands on it and show me what you can do. And that's it. So if you like my channel, please click below and subscribe. You can also find me every single Thursday night, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the Vape Team. Live show with Mike Vapes, Vapin Fagan, and myself. Cloudy Entertainment for everybody. Watch us live or watch the replay on the Vape Team channel. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I have a private Facebook group for the Vape Team. You can ask to join that. Lots of information, lots of experienced members in that group, so check it out. I got a lot more vape where this came from, so I will see you all real soon right here on the Vapor Chronicles. Have a good one.